that the Earth's climate has changed in the past, but can the past predict the future? Paleobotanist Dr. Jennifer McElwain believes that fossil plants have some of the answers. I use fossil plants to try and understand how the climates have changed over a geological time. A really important issue facing current scientists and politicians is how will our future climate respond to increases in greenhouse gases. So one aspect of paleobotany, the study of fossil plants, that will help us address this question is that we can study times in the past when carbon dioxide levels, which is an important greenhouse gas, has changed over geological time. And by looking at the leaf surface of fossil plants and counting the number of pores on the leaf surface, this enables us to actually estimate how much carbon dioxide there was in the atmosphere. The more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the fewer the pores on the leaf surface, and vice versa. And if we know that carbon dioxide levels have increased or decreased, we can then look for indicators of whether the climate has changed. And we can ask the really critical question, do increases in greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, which we produce today from fossil fuels, have they in the past caused the global climate to warm? Is there a link? And the answer clearly from my research at UCD and other colleagues around the world is that yes, intervals when we release lots of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere through natural geological events causes the Earth's climate to warm. Dr. McElwain and her team now have the ability to simulate any past or future time period and look at how it affects plant life. We have a great new facility in UCD um, which has been funded by a Marie Curie Excellence Grant, um, the College of Life Sciences at UCD and also the School of Biology and Environmental Science. And this facility is a, is a suite of six plant growth rooms. It enables us to grow plants in a, any climate or atmospheric composition from the geological past or from the future. And this facility, which is called Peuk, which is the Irish to sprout, um, it enables us to um, ask the question, how will the most important crops in Ireland respond to future global warming and atmospheric composition change by, let's say, 2050? It also enables us to ask questions about plant evolution. How, how did changes in atmospheric oxygen or changes in atmospheric carbon dioxide influence the plants that are around today, the plants that went extinct in the past and the plants which originated in the geological past?